It's time now to do exercise three, where we're going to practice some of the skills that we've learnt in this section on sorting and filtering. So there are a couple of different things I'd like you to do here. Once again, we have on the left hand side, just a small table. It shows me some countries listed out, the regions those countries belong to, the revenue and the profit that they've generated. And the first thing I'd like you to do here is I'd like you to create a unique list of all of the regions. And I'd like you to do that using an Excel function. And then once you have that unique list, I'd like you to use that list to create a data validation drop down list in cell F4. And then finally, if we cast our eyes over to the right hand side, notice that I have the same column headings running across the top. I'd like you to create a filter that filters results by the region selected in cell F4. And I'd like you to include a meaningful message so that if there are no records, we don't get an error, we get a message that says no records. So to give you a little bit of an idea as to which direction to go in, you're going to need to be using the unique function and also the filter function to complete this exercise. And then the second part of this exercise is sorting data. So once again, we have similar information and I want you to use the sort by function to sort the athletes by route and position in ascending order. So now is the time to pause the video, give the exercise a go, and if you get stuck or you'd like to see my answer, then please keep watching. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to create a unique list of the regions. So to do this, I'm going to kind of go over here so, I, so I'm in a blank space and I'm going to use the unique function. Now for this, all we need to do is to select the range. So we want a unique list of the regions. So control shift down arrow. I'm working up in the formula bar now. Close the bracket, hit enter, and there is my unique list. So now I want to use this unique list to create a data validation dropdown list in cell F4. So let's click in cell F4, up to data, into data validation. We're going to create a list and the source for our list is going to be our unique list in column M. Click on OK. And now I have my little drop down arrow and I can select my different regions. Remember, if you don't want these visible in column M, you can simply right click and hide that column. Now, the second part of this exercise was to create a filter that filters the results by the regions selected in F4. And I wanted you to add a meaningful message if there are no records. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the filter function. Now for this, our array is going to be everything that we have in this table. And then we need to tell the function what it is we want to include. So I basically want to include all the records where the region is Australasia. So I'm going to include the region when it's equal to whatever we have in cell F4, comma. What do I want it to do if it's empty? Well, I want to add a message that says no records and close the bracket. Let's hit enter. And would you take a look at that? It's picked out all of those results from the table. And because this is dynamic, if I change the region to Europe, I'm going to get an updated list of results. The second part of this exercise was to sort our data. And I wanted you to use the sort by function to do this. And I'm going to sort the athletes by their route and position in ascending order. So once again, in cell G4, we're going to use the sort by formula. My array, well, this is going to be all of my data. So let's select everything that we have in here. I'm going to work up in that formula bar, comma. What do I want to sort by? Well, I want to sort by two things. I want to sort by the root and position in ascending order. So the by array one argument is going to be the root. So let's select everything that we have just there, comma. 
sort order one. Well, I want to sort in ascending order. So we're going to add a one just there, comma, by array two. So now I want to sort by the position. So we're going to select the position column, comma, and I want to sort by ascending order again. So a one on the end there. Close the bracket, hit enter, and would you take a look at that? We're now sorting by root first of all in alphabetical order. So I have east loop first and then west loop, and then we're sorting by the position.